can count on continuing with a civil rights celebration fit for a king. Three schools, Augusta University, Payne College, and Augusta Tech all getting together to celebrate what would have been Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s 86th birthday. The event included a lot of things, including a combined choir. All those schools represented there singing some beautiful songs. The keynote speaker, Joan Mulholland, who became an icon for her work during the civil rights movement as a white woman, told the group, look, she took up the cause because it was the right thing to do. I went to church regularly and memorized all those Bible verses that had you memorized about do unto others as you would have them do unto you and love thy neighbor as thyself. How to treat people, how to live, and I could see that we were just a pack of hypocrites. We did not practice what we preached. Ms. Mulholland participated in more than three dozen sit-ins and protests. A former freedom rider who was on death row in Mississippi, she even helped plan and organize the March on Washington. And from Mrs. Mulholland, her work continues to live on, shaping history in the South and across this country. You know, a lot of people say gay rights is the new civil rights for this era. A bill just introduced into the Georgia House of Representatives is getting a lot of attention, too. News Channel 6's Renetta Dubose is here to tell us what it means. Brad, House Bill 756 is known as the Religious Freedom Bill. If it becomes law, it would give small businesses the right to not participate in a religious ceremony if it goes against what they believe. A unified Augusta celebrated Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthday with song, and a few words during moments of spiritual reflection. The keynote speaker, a white woman from Virginia, educated at a historically black college in Mississippi, told the group underlying racism is still here. The former freedom writer who was once on death row says a poster she once read explains why no one should be exempt. Y'all means all. It's that simple. And then around the edges it's spelled out all the possible groups, you know, by color, by religion, by sexual orientation. And that is my, my new motto, y'all means all. Joan Mulholland joined several who feel gay rights should be expanded to modern day civil rights. That's exactly how Georgia Equality Executive Director Jeff Graham feels about House Bill 756. He says the Religious Freedom Bill singles out same-sex couples for harm, and that's wrong. Mulholland agrees. I hate the guy that was the mastermind and chief organizer of the March on Washington was gay. But I arrested him, so mm -hmm. this is not breaking news, you know. But State Representative Barry Fleming says House Bill 756 does not do that at all. A small business cannot be forced to participate in a religious ceremony that they find is against their religious beliefs. But if you have a Jewish deli, you couldn't be forced to cater a Muslim wedding. If you found some of the food that you would have to prepare or some of the things that would go on there would be offensive to you in your religious place. It doesn't stop a Muslim from walking into the Jewish deli and eating. House Bill 756 was introduced this week. Many lawmakers are just now reading it and understanding it. It will take some time before it reaches the governor's desk. Kim.